All right, welcome to Beyond Soup, where I put up all sorts of stuff. Today we have a vintage high-end Akai GXC-735D cassette deck. This is a three-head uh, unit that has a um, four-track, two-channel stereo tracking system. And I just really wanted to show you what this thing is doing. It actually won't play a cassette. And the suspicion is because of the belt. Um, I am going to show you what this thing looks like inside just because um, there isn't a lot out there that shows the inside of this unit. It does power up and I'll show you that now. So you can see all the lights turn on. Um, if you uh, press any of the buttons, it will try to engage. But... Um, doesn't do anything you can hear some kind of motor running um, there and I you can kind of see it try to play um, and there it goes trying to do its own thing um, and again these buttons light up but not doing anything um, again we'll see we'll take check that out inside but as you can see this is one a beast of a unit um, it is a flagship piece by Akai back in uh, the day uh, it was uh, built or introduced um, in the time frame of 1979 and 1980 it's got a really cool VU meter um, it's got it uh, it's got an output um, its own output knob um, I mean, this is something that that was uh, really a, a statement piece for a Kai. So anyway, I did take off the the screws that are uh, um, you know holds the casing, so I can open this up and show you what that looks like. So let me do that now. Okay, so I took the top off, and this is what this cassette deck looks like inside here's the components here and then the motors here and then more stuff here on this side but what I wanted to show you is here where the motor which is right there you can hear it and then you'll see a belt in here. Kind of hard to show you there. There. It's hard. It's having a hard time focusing. Um, but there. So there's really no tension to make this thing turn here. So I can try and help it. There. It kind of plays, but there's really not enough tension to make this thing actually play. I've tried it. Let's see it right now. There, see how it, it tried to push something. But again, really nothing, no result whatsoever. Um, and again, that's what I'm suspecting. I don't know enough about um, trying to fix this thing and I don't, I'm not capable of doing that. Um, but I at least wanted to show uh, that there is a motor that's running in the background. Uh, let's see if it's still, yeah, it's still moving. But there isn't really any tension whatsoever on it. It's just barely even hanging on to make it turn. I'm just really surprised that the belt hasn't been, uh, like, the disintegrate or anything like that. Because it's just that old. Anyway, uh, everything here is original on this deck. Um, and nothing's been touched, even that belt like that we were looking at, but it's in such a nice shape. 
um, with only like a couple of nicks like there and there. Let's see if I can focus it on that. Otherwise, um, yeah, I wish uh, I wish I had the knowledge and capability of actually making this thing work because it's such a badass piece and it is a statement piece by uh, Akai. So let me just show you what the head looks like when it does try to play. You'll see that thing pop up. Yeah, it's trying to turn there. There's the head and then the two erase heads right there. So yeah, I mean that this is uh this is what this unit is doing. Again, this is this uh Akai GXC 735D three head cassette deck. Um and that is pretty much what I wanted to show you, give you a little bit more glimpse on the internals of this thing and all the components and how, how um, well they made this thing. Unfortunately, it's just not something that's actually playing a cassette. But that's what it is. Uh, let me pause this and at least show you the back of this unit and what that looks like. It's fairly simple. So... Let me go ahead and do one more flyby here. Okay, here's what the back looks like. It's got this, your line in and line out. And then another look at the back of this. I mean, from this angle, again, this thing is uh, moving, but it's not. I don't think it uh, there's enough tension to even make this thing work. Or maybe there's something else wrong with it. So that's pretty much uh, pretty much it with this unit. And I hope you found this um, helpful in any which way when it comes to vintage electronics. And, um, and if you did find it helpful and you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and possibly join the channel. That's Beyond Soup, where I put up all sorts of stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.